Hi, I'm Dan from SL Gun Shop. One of the hardest things to learn how to do is to learn how to shoot accurately and smoothly while firing live ammunition all the time. Not only is the gun going off and the explosion happening and the noise happening, but you're also sometimes thinking about, well, there goes 50 cents downrange, there goes another 50 cents downrange, there goes another 50 cents downrange. Competition shooters, virtually anybody in the business of shooting for fun or real for profit, do a th practice called dry firing. Dry firing is where you actually put the gun into shooting position and you pull the trigger on an inert round called a snap cap. A snap cap is a little round. It's generally different, totally differently colored than a live round so that you know it's an inert round. And in the end, it has a polymer tip to help prevent uh, damage to the firing pin. One of the worst things you can do to any pistol or revolver is to fire it constantly without anything in the chamber. You can damage the firing pin. Snap caps are very important. In dry firing, what we do is we make sure that we have no loaded ammunition in the room. We have no loaded magazines in the room with us. All we have is our firearm, a magazine, and some snap caps. We're going to load a couple of snap caps into the magazine, and then we're going to load the pistol. Now the beautiful thing about modern pistols is that you don't have to rack the slide all the way back to cock the gun. You just need to pull it back a little bit, now the gun is cocked. So we're getting ready for our dry fire practice. We're going to get into our shooting position. We're going to be in a room where we have double and triple checked that we have no loaded ammunition, no loaded magazines, it's all in another room. I can't stress that enough because it's very embarrassing to shoot a hole in your wall because you had loaded ammunition or a loaded magazine. We're going to get into our firing position and we're going to aim at a blank wall. And I want you to focus on the front sight. What we're learning is trigger control and we're learning front sight picture. From the time that we bring the gun up, we're focusing on the front sight. We're going to pull the trigger. We're going to do it on a count of 10, a slow count of 10. So from the time I start to pull the trigger till the time that the gun fires or clicks, it's going to be 10. Ready? One, two, three, four. I'm always pulling the trigger. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? We're going to do this exercise, and while we're doing it, we're looking to see if as we're pulling the trigger, are we pushing the gun with our trigger finger. If you're right-handed, you would push the gun to the left. If you're left-handed, you would push the gun to the right. We're looking to see if we're pulling the gun with our trigger finger. If you're left-handed, you'll pull the gun to the left. If you're right-handed, you would pull the gun to the right. Constantly focusing on the front sight. We're also looking to see if we're wristing the gun, bringing the gun down as we slowly squeeze the trigger. We want to do this exercise 50 times the first night. This is something you can do at home in the basement, you can do it in the living room, you can do it in the bedroom. Now, that's 50 times the first night at 10 seconds. The second night, we're going to do this same exercise, we're going to do it at 7 seconds. Focusing on the front sight, no loaded ammunition, no loaded magazines dummy rounds, the snap caps in here only. We're going to do a count of seven. One, two, three, four. Looking for pushing, pulling, wristing. Seven. We're going to do that 50 times. Third night. This is a five night exercise. Third night. How many seconds? Yep, five seconds. One, two, three, four. Five, looking for pushing, pulling, wristing. The fourth night, how many seconds? Yep, you're right, three, three seconds. One, two, three. The last night, you're gonna do it. You're gonna bring the gun into ready, acquire the sights, not acquire the target, remember, acquire the sights, pull the trigger. Now, why is it important? It is important because when you're shooting, you must focus on the front sight. You must learn how to hold that trigger 
steady and to pull it steadily. One of the exercises that they give us when I was learning to shoot was you would put a dime on the front sight like this. You would balance the dime, you'd bring the gun to the ready, and you would pull the trigger. If the dime doesn't fall off, you're doing well. So that's the exercise that you do. Now what you want to do is go to the range. Take a buddy with you. You're going to fire a couple of magazines of live ammo. At this point, you are going to have a target up. You're going to look down range. You're going to see the target. You're going to know where the target is. You're going to cock the gun. You're going to bring the gun up. You're going to acquire the target. Not look at the target, just acquire the target. It's going to be a fuzzy blob down there. You're going to focus on the front sight. You're going to squeeze the trigger. Bang, and it's, the gun's going to go off. Hey, that's exciting stuff. You're going to fire a couple of magazines worth of ammo, live ammo. Now you're going to give the magazine some loaded ammo and a snap cap to your buddy. Your buddy's going to load the gun for you. In that magazine of loaded ammo, he's put a snap cap. Now it may be the second round, the third round, the fifth round, the fourth round, who knows where it is. He's going to put the magazine in the gun, you're going to cock the gun, you're going to shoot, bang, the gun goes off. That's great, we're doing well. Bang, the gun goes off. Great, we're doing well. He knows that the third round is going to be the snap cap. Only he knows where it is. He's going to be watching you. As you fire that third round, you're expecting the gun to go bang and the gun to move, but in reality, all the gun is going to do is go click. If this happens, when you do the third round, the gun doesn't move. All you do is you shoot and pull the trigger and it just goes click. You've done well. If on that third round you do this, you're jerking and flinching. But that 250 rounds of dry fire practice, slowly starting from 10 seconds all the way down to acquire and shoot, will have developed the muscle and muscle memory in your trigger finger. You'll also know how to focus on the front sight. You will know how to acquire the target, not look at it. Don't try to focus on the target, focus on the sight, focus on the target. If you do that, you're going to wind up getting so dizzy you'll fall over, your eyes will be tired, you won't hit anything. You acquire the target, put the gun up, focus on the front sight, pull the trigger. Your shooting will improve. Dry firing, a great way to practice, a great way to develop the skills that make you a better shooter. For more information about what we do here at SL Gun Shop, come and see us at 443 Fitchburg Road, Mason, New Hampshire. Give us a call at 603-878-2854. Thanks for watching.